The hour is late, but our viewers are sturdy with strong enough stomachs to handle this next topic. The researchers who are employing a very unconventional way to track these virus cases on a massive scale by looking at wastewater, the stuff that comes out of humans. Our London-based NBC News correspondent Willem Marx has our report from England tonight. Under this manhole cover could be the key to one of the world's greatest current challenges, stopping the spread of COVID-19. Dr. Ian White is a scientist tasked with sampling sewage from this wastewater pipe in the north of England. She's helping hunt down COVID by tracking quite literally what's been left behind. All the bacteria and viruses that are naturally occurring in our human bodies come down and we're totally used to, to dealing with that, to look for the fragments of the, of the COVID-19 virus um, and to look at those fragments to determine the health of the population. Her job's not glamorous, but this unusual detective work is at the front line in the fight against coronavirus. She works for one of the UK's largest water utility companies and has been taking samples like this since mid-March. Her bottles end up in one of several freezers at a nearby university where scientists sift through them. The process is part of a nationwide effort to collect human waste, convert it to laboratory samples and check inside for the presence of COVID-19. We want to get a better understanding of how the levels you find in sewage relate to what's in local populations. David Graham has spent decades scouring global waste systems for chemicals, bacteria and now this deadly virus. His research team is working with colleagues worldwide on an alternative to today's expanding but expensive testing techniques. Based on finding one individual isn't necessarily enough information for you to shut down a city. But if you find an elevated level of virus particles or in sewage coming from that city, you, you know then that city needs to be dealt with. These samples contain viral material, whether you're sick or asymptomatic. And tested hours after leaving your home, they can provide an early warning system. You can actually put your pulse on what's happening in the community before you see disease. And that's, that's, that's... The holy grail. It's the holy grail if you can make the analytical method accurate enough. And while scientists work to find a more precise correlation between levels of genetic material and the virus's presence in a population, the potential cost savings and speed are appealing to governments around the world, with similar studies and surveillance from Spain's Valencia to Delaware's Newcastle County, where they now check wastewater every week. It gives us some immediate feedback on policy decisions that we make. Matt Meyer is the Newcastle County Executive. What we're really trying to do is sample a community, get a good representation of is, is the viral load in our community getting worse or is it getting better? And wastewater, for our purposes, seems to do that better than anything else. There's around 15,000 treatment plants just like this across the United States. If you tested around 550 of those, you'd cover half the US population. The bill for that testing would be a fraction of what it is right now. These programs only offer a rough roadmap, but sewage could soon prove to be an accurate predictor for coronavirus' second wave before it hits. Villa Marks, NBC News, Newcastle, England. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.